LC and Cam is playing in the Dan Fitzgerald Memorial Tournament tonight. Third quarter, LC's ball, Jeff Livingston to Tanner Johnson, who shoots for three and hits. It's 21-16 Tigers. Camus responds. Trent Johnson to Austin Dubay. Back to Johnson. He hits the trifecta. It's a two-point game, but the Tigers too much. That's Livingston who hits the hole and the hoop. LC goes on to win 52-39. Meet and Richland played the late game tonight. The Bombers going to start bombing. Adam Baker, give me some from distance. That makes it a two-point game early on, and Baker was feeling it. This time from closer range, takes it in and miss, makes the jumper. The lead was still two. Panthers turn now. It's Skyler Lookabill who makes some space. They're going to hit the jumper, but Meade trailed by four at that point. They eventually fell 73-55. Out to Coeur d'Alene where NC was at Lake City. The Indians had the ball, and they were going to score. Chase McDuffie feeds Jamil Foster, who feeds the hoop. But this one was all home team. Do not adjust your TV sets, folks. That alley-oop just happened. We're going to take another look-see. Justin Pratt up high to Riley Maureen, who's going to throw it down. The T-Rolls roll on this one, 72-47. The Mount Spokane girls were at Post Falls tonight. Early in the second quarter, Wildcats with the ball. Ashley Peterson tries the reverse layup. Gets the board, though, and the bucket. It was 7-4. But in the second quarter, Post Falls with the ball. Katie King finds Whitney Gonzalez. She shoots for three. PF by six. Their ball again, Gonzalez again from three. That made it a 10-point game. Post Falls wins 51-31. Spokane 